Hi everyone, welcome to Jarvis Collegiate. And uh, it's really great to, to see so many friendly faces and familiar faces as we have this from the area. I also recognize friends from the heritage community and of course friends from the cycling community. Um, tonight is our community meeting and uh, we are here to talk about Jarvis Street. And Jarvis Street in particular as a cultural uh, corridor. And uh, we want to hear from you and the community about what the future of Jarvis Street can look like, and also to share with you uh, what it used to look like, and uh, and have that conversation about all the activities that take place on Jarvis, who lives here, who works here, who studies here, and who uses it. And uh, and I think that's uh, part of the very important conversations that we want to have with you as we move forward. So you wouldn't have asked to. Uh, to sign in when we, when we first came in. And uh, we should have given you at least an evaluation form, which is very important. And there's a litany of, uh, of questions. And uh, you'll find that uh, if you have some time, please do uh, fill that out, because we want to be able to at least uh, tabulate that information and then determine uh, what is our strategic direction as we move forward with Jarvis. Uh, so my name is Kristen Longtown, and uh, I'm the city councilor in Ward 27. Just some basic housekeeping rules that might help us uh, move the evening through faster is the men's washroom. I'm, I'm assuming it's gender neutral, but I just say I saw the sign. The, uh, the men's washroom is on the right hand side of the front doors as soon as you walk out, and the women's washroom is on the left hand side. Uh, there will be an opportunity for a QA uh, at the end of the meeting, and uh, we have four amazing speakers that I will introduce to you very shortly. Um, I know that there are many people here who are here to uh, speak about uh, you know, transit and in particular complete streets and uh, the bike lanes. And there will be also an opportunity to talk about that because that is something that we're not going to ignore, uh, but it is a part of uh, one segment of the bigger conversation of Jarvis Street. So if I can give you a quick um, overview of, um, of my impressions of War 27 over the past uh, 16 months as a, as a local councillor. I can tell you that what I've seen is a, is a word under tremendous amount of pressure. We've got uh, communities that are uh, literally low-rise neighborhoods uh, that are still very stable, with some very beautiful heritage built on, and then right abutting next to that are some very large power applications that have now come in. And there's this constant threat of what happens to a heritage built on, and will we lose that, which is part of that cultural landscape that makes up the city of Toronto. And uh, you'll note that uh, Toronto, especially the old city of Toronto, we have this amazing cluster of heritage properties, and we have this amazing city full of, uh, of cultural assets. But we don't always do a great job of purposing that in our discussions. And when we look at what makes a great city, I have yet to travel to a city, I've traveled about 50 cities in my lifetime, I've yet to to travel to the city and say, that was an amazing condo. I uh, can't wait to go back to that city so I can see that condo again. The experiences uh, that I think that make up a great city are, that was an amazing street that I walked down. It was so beautiful and so green. It was, you know, 150 year old trees that created this massive canopy. Uh, did you see the, uh, the, the, the theater in the park? where people can congregate and read poetry and, and sort of express themselves in, in what uh, makes us a livable city. Uh, cafe cultures make up the city uh, and uh, fantastic green spaces, open spaces that are not overly commercialized, that are for the people. And so that's what we're here to talk about, is about people and place making, and in our case, why Jarvis Street is an important street, a street that is of significance, and a street that is uh, worthy of cultural destination. And it already has received that, and you'll be hearing much more about that uh, from the other speakers. We have a number of initiatives going on in World 27. Some of them are to do with uh, improving the pedestrian quality of um, uh, experiences on the streets. So from Young Street to Gould Street, and from laneway transformation, we are looking at pursuing this new conversation of high urbanism in War 27, I want you to be a part of that conversation, part of the solution, because it's not necessarily the people. I'm sorry, it's not necessarily just the place. It's actually the people that make the place. And I hope that you would agree with us. 
And I want you to be able to walk away from this meeting tonight, and as you walk home, or as you cycle home, or as you drive home, take a look at Jarvis Street again. And tomorrow morning, when you walk through in the daytime, I want you to take a look at what is actually here behind the facade in a neighborhood that is one of the oldest streets in Toronto. Uh, so I think you're in for a real treat. So I'm not going to uh, delay much further, but I would like to introduce you to our very first speaker. His name is Gary uh, Niedemann. And uh, Gary is, uh, is uh, someone I actually met 